Hanana. So, welcome back to my vlog. This is our second day in Petra. And Petra refitted this time tayo. Mag-start tayo ng early morning. So now it's 6.30. Uh, kanina pa bukas ng 6 o'clock ang Petra. And para mas madami tayong shot na may kakaunti ang tao. So, this is the entrance. Again. Back to the Petra for the second time. So, nandito kami sa treasury and a little bit cold, but look at the view. Inabot na naman kami ng ano araw. So, back to the trail. Papunta naman kami ngayon doon sa monastery kasi we need to see that one. Sayang kasi yung aming uh, two days pass kung hindi din lang namin pupuntahan. But uh, I just passed the treasury and now uh, we are walking uh, to the monastery. So samahan niyo ako. It's the same as uh, the last na yung trail pero yung last part na lang ang kukuhain ko which is the monastery. Um, I've shown in this video uh, the temple and then we're heading right to the monastery, okay? So it's very different vibes pag early morning kasi napakaunti ng tourists not like 11 o'clock onwards na parang may ano, piyesta Let's see Get to enjoy this But yesterday, it's like jam-packed like 8 buses I went here so you could not really take a good shot because almost crowded on lahat ng area So it's still here in Petra rest muna ah masyadong madami ang lalakadin so, nihintay ko lang yung kasama ko sa Kasi masyadong picture whore. Parang same position. Iba-iba lang ang ano. Bumalik na naman kami doon. Tapos eh, same position na naman. Same area. Tapos ma mo, napapaaway pa kami doon sa mga ano. Kasi ini-entertain niya mabuti. Punta kami ngayon sa monastery and we're battling up with these stairs. So at, uh, at least a thousand stairs daw to. So sabi nyo kaibigan ko lang si Lynette. Sabi, I warn you, magdala ka ng extra feet at saka lots of lots of energy. So okay, <laughs> fine. I load myself with a lot of breakfast. <laughs> As in, 
Tapos meron pa akong ninenok na boiled egg. This is view. So even dito sa tough ng papunta ng monastery dito sa Petra, it's still evident na yung culture nila paggamit ng transportation, they're still using the donkey. Say hi. So the mode of transportation for it is the kanila. Siempre, wala namang iba pero I mean, it's really evident na gamit pag nila sa daily living nila yung donkey. Diba? Parang nasa kinabuhayan lang. At the top of the mountain, may tindahan. So, still here. Ang ganda ng place, oh. Diba? Hindi pa, hindi pa rin kami nakakakit ng monastery, but uh, eventually, stop kami ng stop because of the uh, place. So big reveal muna tayo. Finally, we are here sa monastery o yung pinakadulo ng Petra. Ta -ta. Can't believe, <laughs> can't believe we find it. I can't believe we are finally here, and the mission is complete here in Petra. And then. So let's continue our journey. So papunta naman tayo dito ngayon. Just at the back of this great uh, uh, naayok yung ano donkey. So check naman natin yung likod nitong monastery na ito. So ito yung other end ng entrance ng Petra. The most famous one is yung doon sa may malapit sa uh, malapit dun sa treasury and this one is the monastery same as kamukhang kamukha siya yung sa uh, treasury pero they call it monastery or something like church or sa I'm not really sure so lakad lang tayo ng konti para makita natin yung little petra daw I'm not really sure kung anong makikita sa little petra It says the best view in the world. So best view though in the world. So check natin nga if ah uh, mali yung kanilang claim. Let's see kung tama naman yung claim nila. If you are just going to imagine, parang ano mong nasa Mars ka, and look at this one. Hindi mo. 
grabe speechless talaga so, paano ka naman hindi ma mapapanganga or maghahanga dito sa itsurang ito So, now ascending naman kami pababa and actually uh, yung trail is like mahirap because pataas siya and it will took you around 2 hours to walk but going down I believe it's gonna be like shorter pero sabi nga nung iba uh, mas maganda yung place dun sa monastery not because mas famous siya dun sa ano not because famous siya but because um, kakaunti yung tao at the same time you could have your uh, picture taken without so much uh, uh, tourists although meron talagang ano yung uh, anong tawag dito meron talagang pinch yung sa treasury na pag nakita mo yung the first time yung pag Shit, so beautiful. Pero lahat ay may equally beautiful. Baka, baka lang halos yung treasury is because yung, yung main uh, area. At the same time yung main uh, uh, tourist attraction dito sa Petra. But uh, basically lahat may different characters. So maganda naman talaga siya. So it's worth a while. Uh, it's worth it na bumili ako ng dalawang 2 days pass dito sa Petra because you are not able to do it on the first one. On the first try you will be a uh, photo whore whereas wala kang ginawa kundi magpicture na magpicture at the same area. While sa second day naman is that selective na lang yung gagawin mo. Parang uh, ito na lang titingin kukuhan ko ng picture. Ito na lang kasi medyo Maganda na yung una kong kuha. So, ayun. Yun lang. Uh, but highly advice, uh, kumuha ng Jordan Pass rather than apply for visa and pay for another 55 and pay for 5, 5 uh, JD sa uh, Wadi Ram. And mas makakatipid ka. That's what I think. Kasi ang ginawa namin, we just... We just apply for visa first for 270 dirhams, approximately around 70 to 80 uh, dollars. And then, of course, you have to pay separately 55 JD for two day entrance here sa Petra and 5 JD sa uh, Wadi. So, approximately, kung titing na natin ang calculation ay isang $100 is equivalent to 70.9 JD so I'm still walking right now ayan ayan ang trail so medyo 12 almost 12 na all past 12 na and mainit na mainit na siya so if you have if you needed some sun tan or sun lotion or sunscreen you really have to do it because otherwise it will be burning <laughs> so it's almost one o'clock na ata and i'm still walking back to the treasury at this is the accumulation that, eh tapos na kasi Taxi? No, thank you. Take you back. No, thank you. Half price? So we're climbing up there kasi hindi siya namin napuntahan. And ayan pa yung way. And dun kami galing. So nandito na din lang kahit pagod na. Let's check the place. So climbing up. Actually dito sa Petra walang cementadong uh, daan 
kung hindi ba to buhangin ang dadaanan mo so then closer look ng ruins I mean it's not ruins closer look lang yung kaninang kinong sinashat ko siya So if you could just imagine, di ba? Ano kaya ayang itsura siya way back ng mga ancient time? Kasi, oh, um, medyo sira, sira na siya, maybe because of the weather or something like um, yung basa nature. Pero as you can see din naman, kita mo pa yung bakas ng ganda niya. So, I'm uh, just gonna link uh, yun yung descriptions nung pinupuntahan namin kasi hindi ko na siya matandaan to be honest. <laughs> uh, Inimens ko na lang yung sarili ko sa uh, kagandahan ng nature, kagandahan ng uh, infrastructures or yung ano, building itself. Pero regarding sa mga regarding sa kanyang information sa ililink ko na lang sa descriptions below. Okay? O mababasa niya siya dito. Holiday is over. Now going back to work. Can we start at the back? Yeah. Wiz Air. So thank you, Wiz Air, for thirty dollars uh, ticket. We were able to travel. And this is my new friend from Turkey. Hello. <laughs> How much did you get the ticket from Dubai? Only thirty dollars. <laughs> yeah. It's so cheap. <laughs> it's so cheap. So this is Wiz Air. All right, let's move on. It's so cold. It's cold. I'm on train to seven. So short vacations is over. Fred adventure is done, and I have to go back work. I'll see you the next time. Please, if you like this video, please do subscribe, hit the notification button, and comment down below. Until my next vlog.